Hey, this is Mathmon Variable 73. Thought I would just do a little quick video here on uh, this rumor that I saw from Cosmic Book News, which is on your screen already. And it's entitled Darkseid might be coming to Superman and Lois. So, just my thoughts about some things related to Superman and Lois, and I'll get into the rumor. Now, I am kind of burnt out on superhero shows. Uh, the, you know, basically all the, all the wokeness and bad writing combination thereof have made me less interested in them. With Marvel, it was like once this, once Avengers Endgame came out, and then I heard what they were doing to pretty much every single Marvel movie after that, with replacing, with tokenizing the character, tokenization in, in terms of in, in, in diversity and all that nonsense. I can't. Uh, so instead of making new interesting stuff with female and uh, and all other ethnicity superheroes, you know, like they were Black Panther, which was a good movie. They just basically want to wipe out the existing characters and we're replacing them with tokenized versions of those characters in the movies. And I'm sure I'm sure that the corresponding box office drop that goes with it. You know, I mean, Sp the Spider-Man film interested me because they, they Sony drew, put their foot down on some of that stuff. And on the DC side of it, same thing. You know, the um, oh, what to do with the, with the Arrowverse as it's called. I enjoyed most of. I would say. Seasons two through five of Arrow were very good and worth watching, and then seasons one through four, one to three of the Flash, and parts of four and five were good. You know, the second season of Supergirl is pretty good. Uh, I like Black Panther, um, but I don't think I, I think I think they made it a self character of itself by how woke they went. And well, anyway, point I liked it. Um, not Black Panther, Black Lightning. Uh, so we line up with Superman and Lois, okay, which this series really came out of the Superman character that finally was allowed to be on Supergirl and prove more popular than I think DC, DC's TV division ever realized. And I think that's why this show has been told, I'm, I, I, we, we can bet this show has been told by the, um, Upper levels at um, Time Warner, uh, who run the TV, uh, do not screw this up. Don't go down the woke hole and throw away your audience, but like you do at all the other shows with this one. Keep the general audience interest. Because this show, they've had their, you know, cultural elements, we'll call it, which, again, if there's a little bit of this in it for everyone, we could all enjoy it, you know. But this show has been pretty good with Superman. Now, one of the reasons we think this has been pretty good is because Jeff Johns, who, in terms of comic book writers, Tends to get Superman tends tended to have gotten Superman right more, way more than any other modern comic book writer. Um, I mean, before him there was John Byrne, in, who did Man of Steel miniseries and was the guy who basically rebooted Superman post crisis. He got Superman right on too. You know, so point is he's running the show. So. And I've enjoyed, I enjoyed the first season a lot. I, I was a little worried in the 10th episode they were going to go a little too dark with it, but they pulled back. I've only watched the first episode of the new season because I want to watch it in chunks, right? I know what's happened in, in the show because I don't avoid spoilers. That I like, you know, but I want to watch, I want to watch like at least seven episodes in a row because I just hate, I've gotten used to streaming. So Dark Side coming to Superman and Lois. That's what this rumor is. Can this work? Well, if anyone can pull it off, it's John's. The show has not pulled back from having the big, the big event. In other words, they've they've used their special effects budget very well to have when when Superman is doing super things, they don't hold back on the money uh, for a TV show. You know, they're not wasting it on frivolous special effects like Superman. You know, just flying around casually. In, in a close up, which is which you have to use the actor for, they'll just do that with some with some uh, computer animation at a distance. You can see the blur flying or whatever. Uh, so they uh, they maximize their budget. Now for Darkseid to be an effective character, you, you can't just have him walk onto the screen in for a TV audience who doesn't know who he is, because this has a bigger audience than just the comic book fans. So and let's let's go to this article because they speculated some stuff first. So let's see what they got to say. Now here's here's what they mentioned. Uh, they, they a character named Ali Alliston, who they think is is Granny Goodness, based on the age. Look, they show a picture with the hair angle, and Granny Goodness 
is one of Darkseid's supporters who organ who who basically organize the female theories, which are basically female warriors among the new gods who serve dark side. So that could very well be, a, they could be right on this one. I don't know yet, because I haven't seen all the episodes yet. But if they plant the seeds for dark side, they could do this very well. And that's that's the key to this. For any villain like dark side to be done well, and like Marvel did with Thanos, which I will credit for, they built, you have to build to the villain. You can't just have a, I mean, he could make an appearance, especially if, because of modern audiences, even TV audiences probably know who he is based on due to Smallville and due to the Justice League movie and so forth. But they could show him, like they did with Thanos, where they showed him early on, but to his effect, you build towards it. You, you know, Granny Goodness. Uh, there was a, a, a DC miniseries called Legends. They did Crisis on Infinite Earth and then Legends. And Crisis of Earth is one that we rebooted the whole universe on uh, back in 1986, I want to say. And Legend was kicking it off. And it was about why did you need hero, or well, the content of the hero, uh, uh, and so forth, for a world, for a fictional world that had all this stuff going on. And in that series, there was a character named Glor uh, Godfrey. I don't remember the, the actual human name he went on the cover of, but his new god name was Glorious Godfrey. And his new god power was charisma through his voice among other things, and he slowly turned the world against superheroes and to, to, to bring them into dark side side to try to get the heroes, particularly Superman, to be not welcome on the earth and so forth. And and the heroes, by virtue of their actions, proved and overcame his evil power. So that I would, I would love to see someone do that in a long format on a show like this where you can show the effect building up of Godfrey you know, mind warping the people with his with his comments and way he his power, the subtlety of it, and manipulating things and building up events towards making the heroes choose, the, making the world seem to choose dark side, and then balance that with Superman and his and his supporting heroes. You know, just doing their deed to show that they're they're, they're there. You know, I would love to see that. So that's my hope. I, I've never anything to do. They're going to do anything like that. But if they're planting Granny Goodness, um, I'm sure they could plant others. So, what do you guys think? Should uh, should uh, should the show have this type of thing? Is this show capable of going big enough with just itself and no other CW shows in support of it now? Because it's basically the flagship. All the Flash is still there. Uh, so that, that's a good point. This is the flagship now. The Flash is still there. Legend of Tomorrow is, I believe, on its last season, or may have one more. Um, they had this Naomi show, which I, I have heard isn't very good, but I also heard it's very bad. It's kind of meh. I, I haven't watched it yet. So there's enough out there. They could sort of spread this out through multiple shows. Now, I'm not going to watch every single episode of all those shows. Uh, I will probably catch up on The Flash, at least skim through the episodes. But, you know, it, and say what you want about the wokeness in, in, the, in the Arrowverse. They have done a good job building through multiple shows towards their crossovers, and the crossover events have been fun. I know those people, some people will will, will, uh, will, will uh, complain about them, you know, and so forth. Uh, so at some point, you got to have some fun stuff that you can just say, oh, "Okay, it's not, it's not great, it's just fun to watch the heroes get in action, and, you know, have their poses and whatever, you know." Um, so, anyway, back to point. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you do you think? that this show can actually pull this off. Because I'm not going to say whether you think they should do it or not, because as a comic book fan, if you're going to watch a comic book show, you want to see comic book villains. So can they pull this off? I mean, I think Jeff Johns is running the show, and the way they've done so far, they can pull it off. What do you guys think? Give me some comments down below. Um, share this video out there. If you're interested, give me a like if you like it, just like if you didn't, and hit me subscribe if you're interested in more content from Unbearable73. Thank you. Have a nice day. I am out of here.